Are you ready? I'm ready. Welcome back to Project Zomboy. So, uh, it's BV, and once again, we are loading up a new save. So, I already set up the save, and I didn't want to spend a whole bunch of time at the beginning of stream to get that going. So, Rick Martin is our character, and Rick has a dilemma. We're in Rosewood. Uh, <laughs> I decided to kind of go back to my roots, essentially the way I started playing, because I'm sick of dying. And I added a few mods that I typically don't play with. So in this particular case, we are starting with things I don't usually have. <laughs> Hello, looks like you're doing bad boys with his look. I mean, that's a fair statement. We are in the police station, it looks like, which is interesting. I did not expect to spawn here. I didn't even know you could spawn here without being a cop. Oh, uh, so let's see how that works out. But uh, yeah, major thing that I want to achieve, obviously, is to survive as long as possible. <laughs> but uh, the other thing is obviously to decide how to survive. And one of those things I'm going to change is I usually don't play with guns. I want to be gun focused this time. Fantasy Gamer, what's going on, dude? Yes, we died again. Uh, <laughs> if you saw our short on YouTube, you saw how we died, which is super unfortunate. But it is what it is. This police station should be entirely clear due to the fact that we spawned here. So I need to get out of here real quick and see if I can, one, get my hands on a weapon, two, get to a TV. We're missing cooking experience. Ugh. But this is Project Zomboid. Dying is just a part of playing the game, <laughs> which is true. And we do what we can. And of course, make a new series, new story. So um, I do... I, I went back to how we played Raven's story. We do have zombie um, responding turned off. I changed how many zombies are going to be around. So instead of the normal, I think it's low amount, we've set it to uh, a little higher. It's the second one higher. So it's not, you know, low population to start. It's normal or something like that. Regardless of that fact, um, I don't have multi hit turned on. Raymond did have multi hit turned on. So we won't be having multi hit. And I intend to be gun focused. So little things uh, that are going to be different. But, you know, still, it is what it is. It's horrible how we died. Yes, it is absolutely horrible how we died. And I am still upset about it. But we get over it and we keep moving forward. That is the plan. So, you know, starting projects on Boyd is always fun, right? You got to get yourself established. So give me a moment to, I say give me a moment. We're going to be here for a while trying to get established. <laughs> um, got to be here a while. Oh, dude, I already broke the butter knife. How strong is your face? No intention of dying anytime soon. Like I said before, I have every intention of getting very combat focused. When I say that, we're going to clear out all the towns before we make it to Louisville. Um, and our last, you know, major save on YouTube, what we did was clear out West Point. We made it to Muldra, but we didn't like kill everyone there. We actually went there for loot pur uh, purposes. This time around, because I increased the ammo spawn and I do want to be gun focused, we're going to get super heavy into smoking the towns. So, like, uh, I'm going to move from Rosewood. I think I'll go straight to Riverside after I get done here and then you know, see where we go from there. <laughs> um, it is a little counterintuitive. I had no problem with saying that because Rosewood's location, if I go straight north, I will find Riverside. I know that. But from Riverside, I actually have to backtrack to make it to Moldra and then finally West Point before I make it to um, Louisville. So little things. And naturally, other people have already done this before and, you know, playing on YouTube. I don't care. <laughs> We're going to have fun. And that's really why I started playing Project Zomboid. And I was reminded of that today. Like, why did I choose to start streaming? Why did I choose any game to play? It's not about the clout. It's not about the fame. It's not about the money. I really looking to have fun. And Project Zomboid is fun to me. So let's play it the way that's going to make me feel the best. <laughs> and that's what we're doing tonight. So I'm getting back to my roots is my point. Getting back to my roots. That said... Oh, it sucks to start. <laughs> it really does. Because part of me is like, yeah, I know where everything is. It's like, yeah, you would know where, where everything is if this was your home. And it's not, you know, it's not my home. Uh, I don't have a home yet. So we have to get, you know, lots of things going. 
Is this going to be uh, a way of doing Raymond save better? I mean, that's one way of saying it. You know, again, I'm not trying to reinvent what we had with Raymond. Raymond is eternal in my heart and should be in yours too. But, you know, there is a point in which you have to say, we can do great things and we have a template for survival. Now, that said, let's take a look at that template. So I did decide to go thin skinned, slow healer, conspicuous. Uh, hearty appetite along with my standard prone to illness outdoorsman weak summit short-sighted uh, blah 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 so the normal things the standout pieces that are a little different is i got hunter so i took hunter because i wanted to have the aiming skill there for bonuses because like i said i want to be gun focused um and then of course you know we'll see what else comes from that moving forward oh my god i've already got great things this is turning out to be an awesome save already axes galore can't be gun focused until i find some guns and ammo by the way so you know don't shout at me just yet but things are starting to shape up already conspicuous conspicuous just means that you're easier easier to spot um if you're in the line of sight of zombies and we're not trying to hide <laughs> so let's see how that goes looking like things are well here which is nice let's go outside and see if we oh wait wait i don't have time on me ah crap mm, let's go upstairs there's probably zombies in that room i see but i'll get there in a little bit let me see yep ah ah i miss carpentry experience because i have no idea what time it is anyway uh, that's good got a little bit probably didn't get the whole thing but that's fine I'll get over it um, well that means it's midday so if it's already midday then what are we gonna do let's eat half a fourth of this pineapple and see where we go so like I said I, I got myself set up you know with weapons absolutely I need to get a bag. I need to get uh, a watch. <laughs> I need to get everything going because this is the beginning, right? It's always starting to save it socks. Ugh. But once I get a bag, once I get my books, once I, we're already here, excuse me, I hear beating. What are you hear beating? Oh, I see. Hello, can I help you? Why are you here? By yourself. Were you working out? No, not in full gear. I mean, I guess technically you could work out in full gear if you're a fireman. Man, that makes sense because you have to be able to move in full gear. So, you know, why not? All right. I didn't check before. Let's see if anybody had a watch. Wasn't really paying attention before, but, you know. Oh, you have a watch? Awesome. Sweet. Down you go. You have a pair of scissors. Everything is already working out for us. Good. We got time. We got scissors. What we don't have is a bag. And we will work that out as we go. So, uh, I did I, I thought, I, oh, I got two kettles. I didn't mean to grab two. I only wanted one. That's taking up space. I'm gonna drop you for now. I don't know what I have against goatees. <laughs> yes. Oh, Rick here does have a goatee. Rick Martin. Rick Martin. Laying out zombies in one shot. It's a beautiful thing. Oh, digital watch already too. So things are looking up. Let's go ahead and favorite that so we don't dismantle it later. And let's keep moving. I'm gonna eat another fourth of this real quick. <laughs> Ricky Martin. Yeah, I thought it was funny when I saw it. And I was like, you know what? I'll run with it. So, Rick. Rick Martin. Similar face. Ricky Martin has a similar... I mean, it's... I don't remember what Ricky Martin looks like. I mean, he was still making music when I was younger. But it's been a long time since I've really heard that name. Doors are locked. Sucks. Rick Grimes. Oh no. Okay. 
There are a lot of zombies out. Oh, I did. Uh, let me point out that I am obese in this uh, run. And so the last few times we've been underweight and that hasn't been fun because usually I take the time to lose weight, build my skills and whatnot. I learned when we were underweight, I was really struggling with my weight a little bit. And I say, like, I just wasn't able to gain weight because I wasn't getting the larger spawns from foraging. Um, so we were maintaining that underweight, but we were never gaining it. So going back to being obese, it gives me time, essentially, to build my skills to get more nutrition out of cooking and from foraging. And that will change our experience, you know. Just knowing how you play and how it affects your gameplay overall, super important. Don't we laying people out already? This got ourselves our axes, which is good. I'm going to be very proactive on killing zombies whenever I can. Because like I said, I went back to turning off uh, zombie respawning. And that's because we will be attempting to clear out different towns. So killing zombies are going to be very important to reduce that zombie population uh, growing later. Oh, I see some a dude with a bag. Another thing, taking on massive groups is still a problem because we don't have multi-hit. So without guns, uh, we need to be very conscious of how many zombies we're fighting. And I'm just calling that out too. But we already got a duffel bag. Let me throw that on our back. Bag acquired. Axe skill. Awesome. Remember, we have bonuses to axes. So it's good to get your hand on the weapons that have worked for you. Okay, what did I do? What did I do? Let me move stuff real quick around. Throw the twigs in the bag. I can't see that far away, so I'm gonna move closer. Do you, do you, do you, do you. Get the mug in the bag too and we're all set. Yeah, I mean, we asked and it was delivered. I, is that a just random zombie back there? Yeah, that was, it's the cop. He's got a gun, right? So I'm gonna wait for you to come down here. Bust out of that window, ma'am. Get that over with. Please have a holster. Yes, holster. Where? Uh, attach to our holster. So we got ourselves a gun. And let's take a look. We have a few bullets. Awesome. Now I'm not gonna go loud per se just yet. We need to stock up on some ammo, but we're making our way. We're making our way. Doing good? Doing good. Interesting. Oh, well, we have to be able to work on electronic skills too. So I'm going to be grabbing those things because uh, trying to get our solar panels set up and whatnot is going to be interesting. I did say that we're going to be doing a fair amount of traveling, right? So I don't know if we will base up like we did before. We'll see. We'll see. I have a lot of hope and faith for this save. So I'm actually going to go into it immediately posting onto YouTube. I haven't been doing that because I've been like, man, I'll wait until the helicopter event is over and so on and so forth. Like, no, 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 no. That's not what I did with Raymond. I went into it, I started playing, we started uploading, and then it was just, you know, snowball effect. I had full confidence. And you know what? I have full confidence again. Why? Because tonight, I feel really good. I feel really good. Uh, I had a really good day, you know, so we're going to run with that feeling and not give up on it. <laughs> so that said, let me get some maps real quick don't need seven maps right there are three annotated maps here march ridge i don't think I've ever been to march Ridge. maybe if it's closer we'll start there but i've heard march ridge has a large population so i will think about that i'm gonna come back and disassemble those if i can find the electronics uh the electrical book one at the bookstore which is exactly where we're headed at the moment i'm not just aimlessly walking to kill we're heading to the bookstore so we can pick up our literature for reading purposes. Not super concerned about food. Because like I said, we are obese, but I have a re intention of losing the weight. So I have time uh, and calories to spare. 
But I mean, there are still a fair amount of zombies around. You know, I did say that I adjusted the population a little bit, uh, which is good. Because for what you see currently, you gotta remember in 30 days, this will basically double. So killing anything along the way is better than not to avoid that doubling being a problem <laughs> and turning into a shotgun situation. All right. I mean, axe life. Axe life. So, to the bookstore we go. Perfect. As usual. Turn on the lights. Because who can read in the dark? Who can find books in the dark? Oh! Oh! Wait, 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 wait. Oh, uh, books to get. Focus your attention on things that will matter at the beginning. Let's take it that way. If I take a look at my skills, oh man, I need to get a volume three for foraging and a volume one for basically everything else. Don't see one here, which is okay. Ooh, I should think about that too. The magazines for generator stuff is gonna matter too. Okay, so the electrical level one definitely has to come with us. I'm gonna grab the cooking level two, even though I technically know I won't need it. Uh, mechanics level one can come. I'll leave everything else for now there. Foraging level three, perfect. Not gonna get into metalworking anytime soon. We'll grab the carpentry volume three and four because I do think those things are gonna matter. Let's speed up time a little bit. I have learned my lesson about speeding up time, by the way, so <laughs> I will be very sparing on that, uh, but we'll see how it goes. Well, no, have all those things. No, magazine, yes, thank you. So, play. good, come down a bit. Nothing. Did I get that already? No, I got like level two. Did I get the performance? I got performance models already, so we're good there. Nothing stands out there. Lots of stuff there. We already got forging level three though. I feel like I should just go ahead and grab the cooking books since they popped up multiple times at this point. We are a carpentry level four. I would need number five. So two more bookshelves and then we're gone. Oh, I've been discovered. That's not good. There's a forging level five. Oh, thank goodness. Another one to use. No generator mag. I'm gonna call that out real quick. But we do have some road success, which is nice. All right, forging level four here. Awesome. So foraging is good to go. Not gonna always come back for everything else. So these are my staples. Hi. We are close. My logo is, oh no, I didn't mean to leave the map on. No, not a big deal. I never intended for that map to be there in the first place, so no worries. I hear zombies, they coming, interesting. I don't wanna walk like this. Can I eat, did I finish the pineapple? I finished the pineapple. Yeah, there's a burrito here though. There we go. Down you go. You guys are good too. Perfect. Don't care about anything else, we're all set. I feel like I should be a little more, you know, I should be faster in terms of my movements, but I'm good. You know, things are looking okay at the moment. Um, we are going to get back to the fire station. We will get our experience from the television, the telly. And then after all of our experience is done from the television, we will go over to the police station. Um, we'll dismantle the doors to the armory, get ourselves whatever guns and ammo that's sitting inside of there. We'll take stock and then we'll start deciding what to do after that. Um, a lot of <laughs> the beginning stages, I feel like the way I want to play this 
is to maximize our skill gains on the um, on the TV. So, how do I'm gonna do that? That's a quick question. I think the standout things to do is to read the carpentry books first because that'll help with experience gains from the TV itself. Cooking, because I can work on cooking on my own, I don't think I'll really worry about it, even though I'm going to catch the TV station at the, in the morning. And then foraging, it will be a consistent thing. Uh, see that you put a title, Bread and Ammo, so you're playing to use more guns. Yes, yes, it's going to be a gun-focused uh, save, for sure. Which is why I think it's great that, you know, I spawned the police station. Definitely wasn't intended to be that way, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, and, of course, the bread portion of it, we cook often, and we make sure that we stay fed. So, I think it's interesting that I was just murdering zombies so easily with this axe, though. But, in fairness, oh, dude, where the hell did y'all come from? I'm already level 2 on the axe. Yeah, so. Down. There we go. Oh, that's another good point. I wasn't panicked while fighting because I was only killing a few at a time. So, need to manage my stress levels. That's going to be a thing. Grab the lighter. Good idea. I'll meet you, sir. Come. Come. I'll be your huckleberry. You're supposed to die in one shot, man. You messed the whole thing up. All right, let's get inside. Get ourselves situated. I didn't grab food, which maybe I should have done that too. Uh, but it is what it is. And we're all set. For the most part. Everything's looking good at least. Ugh. Okay. So I'm going to stick all the books over here real quick. Um... I don't think I'll continuously carry any one book. Mostly, well, that's not true. Let me not say it that way. I will carry one book at a time, effectively, until it's read. Um, but everything else is kind of one of those things where there's no reason to carry it unless I'm building skills from it during that time period. Uh, we should be able to hear the TV from this distance. So, exposure survivor. Okay. Take the magazines because those I can read fairly quickly and then they'll go away. Take the carpentry book and then we'll keep the feeling. Honest. Let's fish. Looks like a battery pad. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Axe and all. So let's read the essentials first. Fishing skill acquired. Yes. All right, now I can work on performance vehicles. Yay. Then I can work on electronics or at least unlock things. Remote trigger, make timer. I don't think I've ever done any of these things, but still having access to them. By the way, it's a great feeling not to be illiterate. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever do that one again. So call that out. Interesting start, definitely unique way of playing. I just don't know if I would do it again, that's my point. All right, let's go, let's go. So grab our literature, put it in here. Ooh, something I just realized. I didn't actually check my sound settings. Oh my God. I just kind of jumped into stream tonight, not thinking. It looks like everything looks fine. So, very cool. Uh, skills too low to read carpentry level three. Why did I grab level three then? What, what did I do? Because there was no level two? Because I thought I was higher. Oh no. Oh no. Eh, it is what it is. That'll happen later then. So we just go straight to reading cooking book. Okay. And we'll read. And after it gets a little dark, it will late, we'll go to sleep. I think we'll eat some of the non perishables that we have. So not super concerned about oh, having fresh food just yet, but still, it is what it is. I need to set the alarm so we're up properly as well, and then I'll disassemble these electronics. We are hungry, so eat the chips. 
not the most nutritious meal, but still will keep us going. Like I said, we did not go off and find food. So that's the next thing that we need to make sure we do in the morning. We're going to go to bed here in a second, which probably at midnight we'll go to bed. In the morning, we will get ourselves food. I think we'll probably run over to uh, the Giga Market. I think that's what's going to be the next major thing. So in the morning, oh, wait, light. Oh God, <laughs> should check before I did that. Uh, so instead of being underweight, other thing you picked. Yep, we we went obese instead of underweight this time. So the way that we typically play. The way that we typically play. All right, we're here. We're reading our cookbook. We'll see our cooking show. We'll get extra experience, and then the book will become obsolete. Perfect. All right, so cooking volume two is no longer something we need to read. We need to move on to volume three. The carpentry I can't do anything about at the moment, so blah. Oh, if you notice outside, we do have weather setting in. So dismantle. Why does that say two watches? I'm very concerned about dismantling two watches. So we won't do. Oh, there is another one there. Okay. Dismantle. Dismantle, which I probably could have waited to do that. But, you know, who knows what it is. Dismantle. And we're all set. What time we wake? I mean, you probably would have woke up at the same time we just got up, honestly. So that would have been a non-issue. But um, we didn't take any chances. So we always set it. All right, so let's get going. Like I said, we're going to get food this time. So we get ourselves outside. I heard zombies out the window. I hope they're out the window. So we're going to go this way instead. I also want to walk in the dark. I didn't check these. These are usually really good spots for, yeah, I got a gas can with gas. Look at that. Three empty gas cans, box of nails, ah, club hammer, welding mass. I mean, things look good. And I've got a fair group of zombies out here. Wow. We're a little hungry, so, oh. Game does like to punish me when I'm doing really well, so. <laughs> uh huh. Perfect. Great engagement, guys. You know, couldn't have asked for better. Well done. Well done. Good. Good. Okay, let's go. So we can eat a granola bar, something a little healthier, um, instead of high calorie, and just get rid of that hunger that he's feeling. And like I said, we're heading to the Giga Market, so that's the next major goal. We got to make sure we don't miss, um, you know, the TV again. So we need to be back by noon. But we've got plenty of hours to work with. I'm not going to run because I'm very conscious of the fact that there are still zombies in town. We haven't cleared the town. So uh, burning through our stamina, bad idea. And then, of course, you know, speeding up time has been detrimental to our health um, most recently. So, you know, learning from our mistakes. Learning from our mistakes. But if I do see a small group of zombies just sitting there hanging out, I will take care of them. No reason to just leave them idling. Unchecked. Party hat. Somebody had a party over in the neighborhood. Yo, I didn't get an invite. We're good. I think we're good. That's eh, a fair group. I'm going to leave y'all alone. I'm just going to cross in front of the church, head over to the Giga Market, grab our food, and we'll get out. Like I said, I'm trying to uh, be as skill-focused as possible. We'll get our hands on some ammo, and then we're going to go loud. 
Like once I have enough ammo to handle a small group, I will shoot. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's kind of my intent. Not the type of party you want to be at since everybody turned. I mean, that's fair, but in fairness, they turned up. Before they turned, they turned up. <laughs> so, no, too much. Maybe I'm too old for that type of language. I know. Me and my dad jokes. All right. Ooh, Giga Market is not swarming with zombies. Nice. But it's locked. Yo. Could have gave me a break. Ah, game. Okay. We smashed the window. We the broke glass. We go inside. All is well. Perfect. 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 Watermelon already. Yeah, get it. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna loot as much of this fresh stuff as possible. Whatever may be sitting around. Doesn't look like there's a lot of fresh food though. Look at that. Unlike our last save, not too long ago, we were packed with fresh food and it was more canned stuff, uh, less canned stuff. This time I think it's the inverse. There are more canned stuff, a lot less fresh items, so. Um, it is the beginning. Yeah, I did this in one bag. Do we have the lucky trait? No, no, we don't. I will take the key lime. I will take the apple and blueberry. Yes, will not take the chocolate. I was like, no, nah, let's take the chocolate one. No, again, in fairness, it wouldn't have been dark chocolate cake. That's not a thing back then. Oh, so let's say that, you know, people came and got their fresh food before leaving. There is ice cream here, so yay. I'm gonna check the back, because you remember storage, they can have bags of stuff, but a lot of the fresh food is gone. Oh, um, just call that out. Yogurt, things we don't eat. Water bottles, you know, the water bottle is gonna be a thing. We don't actually have a regular water bottle. We have a kettle. So I'm gonna swap that actually, just to reduce the weight and that helps. Canned, 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 lots of canned food. Got a bag of corn, interesting. Bag of peaches, peaches are good. Tomatoes are decent. Let, oh, there's a lot of sacks over here. Okay, I need to figure out a way to manage that. Huh. All right, let's eat the apple. Oh, wait. I shouldn't take the cakes. Let me throw them into... That's right. I can put the things in refrigerators. Nothing's powered off just yet, right? So if I start sticking the bags in the refrigerator they would keep longer. So that's what we're going to do. We'll take the sacks of stuff and throw them into the fridge freezer here at the Giga Market. So I don't have to haul them all the way back, but at the same time, I can always come back for them. So you gotta think about it, make it work. So this spot actually does have refrigeration available right up front um, in a fairly accessible spot. So why not use it? Tomato. I don't think I'll freeze any of this stuff. That's not true. Maybe I should freeze it. I don't care about the radishes. Radishes is like one of the only things I would tell you to pass up. The cherries too. Cherries don't have a lot of nutritional value either. So, okay. All right, we're good. But maybe I'm overthinking this. Let me throw them straight into the freezer, just in case. If it can go in the freezer, it will go in the freezer. That's the plan. Uh, oh, did, was that the only sack? I feel like there, here it is. Peaches, corn. I like cherries. They would give me happiness. I mean, that's true. In game, they do all for happiness. So <laughs> I'm not gonna lie about that. That's fine. Uh, we're good. We're good. Ooh, wait, check these two. Potatoes, yes. Corn. So we grab those things. And then we're gonna get out of dodge. Like I said, we're running low on time. Now I feel like I should go find 
a small house to sit in, watch our skills, uh, skill gain shows, and then move on. I have enough food to work a few days, especially this watermelon. So that's what we'll do. Then we'll read our books. Uh, I'll start working our skills, etc. Go there. This is all refrigeration. Not caring about meats. We know that. So I'm going to bother walking over there. And yeah. So lots of canned stuff available. Ooh, we'll grab that. Remember that cereal and peas and things are here. So got lots of high calorie items available. And that's good too. All right, let's go. I said I don't have a lot of time. So I'm going to walk into one of these upstairs apartments. Um, and see if we can clear the space, get ourselves access to a TV, and get our skills. What type of cereal? So I was always a Captain Crunch fan. Um, you know, so I'd be happy if it was Captain Crunch. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, uh, also a good thing for me there too. Golden Crisp, I enjoyed those back in the days. Cheerios would be another one that would have liked as well cornflakes cornflakes for the air i got it well no no because you're still talking about the 90s you know the captain crunch was a thing for me so yeah and so was seven toast crunch oh they were there <laughs> not gonna say my parents didn't you know say hey you should eat these cornflakes like we had the special k and kellogg's but uh i don't know Ooh, this door is busted down. Yeah, we should be good. Zombies clearly had spawned, so, in this building, which is not a bad thing. Let me turn this down real quick. Life and living, turn that on, and we're all set. Did I bring a book? <laughs> no, I did not. I didn't think about having to get caught out here, which is not a big deal, but still. Gun case, interesting. Remember, this is Louisville, so where it's the gun case high of? Uh, I mean, it still is guns and ammo, so I will take it. Okay, how are things looking at the moment? I don't have anything on my person. I realize that. So if I put you on the left. Yeah, I guess I'll put you on the right. Speed up time. Carpentry, level four. Perfect. I thought I had a hammer. I didn't get a hammer. I do have a hammer. Okay. Just tripping. All right, so let's get back to base. Um, things are going well, so let's not jinx ourselves, right? Um, gonna wash myself just for good measure, I suppose. There you go. Wash the clothes. There you go. All right, let's go. Hi, sir. Ma'am. Sir? Ma'am. I'm not sure. Go. There's nobody in here. Let's take a look at the... Yo, is this a survival home? There's two crowbars here. Electrical wire. This is a spot to remember. Like standard model. Yep, take it. Person. <laughs> you can just say person. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. Oh, and I hear you. My problem with that statement is, you know, they're not my person. They're a person. And I don't call other people who are not my person just person i feel like it's weird and i know that got strange to say and it was very confusing and i'm gonna leave that alone 
Let's get back home. Yay. <laughs> Anybody down here? Don't bite me coming down the stairs. All right, we're good. We're good. Why are there people in the middle of the road? I'm a little heavy right now. Should I eat an eggplant? Nah, nah, you're good. Chopping in the rain. Axe. Skill go up. See, this is how many people we've killed. We're almost to 100 kills and it hasn't felt that way, but we've been doing it. <laughs> we've been doing it. We have not been playing any games. I've been very aggressive getting started on this run. And that's the way we're supposed to play. Kill the zombies. Don't run from them. Don't hide from them. Kill the zombies. Unless they're about to kill you. Then you should leave. Uh, but you know, you do what you can. You do what you can. Any zombies? No. Upstairs, maybe. Go for it. I don't know why I walked in here. I just did, so. Uh, looking good. I don't really need to check all these spaces, but I will go back in the bedroom. I know that I would like to find a big hiking bag. So... If we do find a big hockey bag, that'd be awesome. Uh, lots of cooking material, which is good. Nothing in here. Also good. Haven't had an eggplant in a bit. I mean, it is not everybody's cup of tea. <laughs> but definitely a versatile plant to work with. You don't think somebody who hikes lives here? I mean, you say that, but that doesn't mean much. Like, how do you know that your neighbor isn't a hiker? You know what I mean? You know, it's one of those things where it's like, you never really know what people are into until you get into a conversation. Headphones, cordless phone. Take it, take it. Don't get trapped in here. Just one zombie. I'm feeling one. It was just one. <laughs> Anybody here? No. Bookshelf. Remember, we still don't have the how to use a generator magazine. So, you know, there is that. Uh, Dying Strike official soundtrack. Interesting. Zombies, no. Good spot. Terrible spot, by the way, actually. There is a window to escape. It's a weird spot for that window, but it's there. Paper bag, lots of bowls, canned goods, rolling pin. I mean, I have to come back to these spaces because I haven't been picking up the cooking material that I could use when I decide to make bread. <laughs> Oh, yes. Pears, yes. Lime, yes. Don't need the water bottle. You know, we got that now. Yeah. No. Not a big deal, though. Take a look in the back. Lots of cramped spaces. I don't think I usually hang out in this upstairs. Haven't had bread in about two weeks. That's right. You are the bread person who was like, dude, bread. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Do you like eggplant? Just haven't had it. Yep. Oh, come on. Smash one. We're going to get these baked goods real quick. There's just stuff on the... Yeah. Short, hmm, I need to think about that. So I could definitely make a vegan cupcake. And in all honesty, there's no reason why a cupcake shouldn't be vegan. Um, you know, from rising agent perspective, you don't need, I wouldn't use egg at all, even before I was a vegan. Huh. The cupcake icing wouldn't be vegan, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, your standard buttercream. 
butter. <laughs> it's right there in the name. So cheesecakes, no. So key lime pie, we talked about that before. Le meringue, no, because meringue is made directly from eggs. So cheers to that. And then everything in the back should be refrigerated so we can come back for it later. Getting a little heavy, so let's get home. I don't mind being heavy walking around because it does burn calories and that is going to be a good thing. Oh, we're kind of over still on calories though. If I think about it, interesting. I need to burn more. I need to burn more. But I mean, what? We're a little coming up on an hour in and things are going pretty well. Things are going pretty well. Not perfect, uh, but well. Let's see, we're gonna get inside. Uh, like I said, we will unpack what we have because we do have a ton of food with us, including this watermelon, which is gonna be amazing, right? Um, but after we get inside, pack up the refrigerator, we'll probably catch our TV show, do some more reading. Remember I said before, I will be focusing on the carpentry books because mixing the carpentry books with the TV will super boost us. If I can get the level seven on the carpentry side of the house, I'll be able to do um, the rain barrel collectors pretty quickly, right? So that takes care of a ton of issues. There is another book place to check later and that's the school, but we'll get there again later. Yeah. Are we gonna use the open field strategy for the helicopter event? Does not work here. There is no open field inside of or close to River, uh, Rosewood where we are currently. Now, we could go out of our way to do it, but I don't intend to do that. So I'm actually thinking that if I kill enough zombies before the helicopter event, I could literally stand outside and it won't be a problem. But <laughs> let's see if we make it that far, so. Also notice like all the garbage cans have been pretty full. Nobody takes out these this garbage, yo. Garbage is everybody's responsibility. Can't just leave the garbage piled up. At least take it out back. Like, come on now. All right. Did we unpack everything? Kinda, yes. So non-perishables are gonna go here. Yes, yes. So the carrot cake in there, so we're technically set. And then we will dismantle the headphones, dismantle the cordless phone, doing good. Put you there, read. The book, oh, the magazine, sorry. So I can work on standard cards and performance cards. Yay. Uh, ch -ch -ch, grab you. Need to really think. I've got a lot of Magnum rounds. Wait a minute. Why do I have the 44 Magnum rounds, but I don't actually have a Magnum? I just noticed that. In terms of that gun case, that gun case gave me Magnum bullets with a DE pistol. So I don't actually have any bullets. Oh wait, no, it did. Okay, I'm stupid. The D, but I thought the Magnum was the revolver. Huh, yep, I'm stupid. I'll leave that alone for now. But that also means that I have more bullets for the DE than I do for the M19. So let's put this gun away for now. That's what we're gonna do. And we will Open one of these boxes. Load this magazine. Let's attach you to the host though. Go number four. And then go from there. Oh no. Am I still on Twitch? <laughs> My internet's being funky. I hope it is. My recording's still going, so. Checking Twitch from my 
phone while this is going. Exposure survival. Yes. Game. Game. That's strange. All right, well, I'm going to say that at least for the recording, I'm still recording. Uh, I technically am still pushing Twitch, even though I can't see it. So that's super annoying. And I am going to see if I can fix that while reading a book. <laughs> oh, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're here. Skill levels too low. Wait, I thought... I need to recap me too low. No, my skill level is still too low. That sucks. Let me grab cooking level three then. Oh, uh, come back over here. Grab some food real quick because we are hungry. So that's fair. Uh, t -t 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 -t. Walking into a thing. You just eat lettuce? <laughs> no, eat a tomato. Yeah, that'll keep you no longer peckish. I forgot what I was doing with the gun. Reload. There we go. Gun set. Read the book. Speed up time. Work on network stuff. Goodness gracious. This is annoying. Can I say it's connected? Reload the page. And we're back. All right. So Twitch didn't come down, which is nice. It just looks like my other device was not great. So I do see chat. I do see myself. Yay. Sorry. <laughs> that might be weird for YouTubers, but you know what? You'll be fine. Now you're good. Yes, I am. PRMR. Um, I'll also note the fact that I know OBS still records the Twitch side of the house and my rig here was still connected to the internet. So I did check those things. So I'll double check recording before I post it, but you know, we look good. We look good. All right. It's nine o'clock. We did lots of fighting. So the man is tired and that's fair. Oh, uh, the accent here did see us doing it all. Excellent. So that's good feedback. Thank you. Sleep. Just noticed that a box of ammo is one magazine plus four. Yeah, it kind of sucks. Yeah. All right. So we slept through the night. I think we will go out here. We'll do some more reading. Oh. Is it still raining out? Yeah, it's still raining out. Can't do anything about the fact that our carpet just goes isn't high enough just yet so i have to deal with that issue but it is what it is but get bonuses while we can kill that please cooking cooking level went up sweet look at that we're already cooking level five put away the cooking book let's see next up let's get ourselves some food remember we're still managing our calorie intake out Let's see, let's see, let's see. Eat the tomato. We'll take three heads of lettuce with us. I didn't eat the tomato. Eat the tomato. <laughs> we'll take three heads of lettuce with us. And then, uh, oh, I don't think we've been full to bursting yet either. Like, we haven't made anything super filling. So, hearty appetite is going to be a thing. We're going to be living with that for a while. But I've never paired hearty appetite with being obese, so... Open window. Close window. All right. So what is our next adventure? Choices. We have the high. <laughs> Let's deal with y'all first, huh? Ooh. Ugh. <laughs> Game. 
Why do I hear window sounds? Is somebody inside the spot? No, why are you there? Don't break window, bro. Don't break window, bro. Thank you. Crap. All right, school bag. So maybe that's the trick. You know, we go over to the school. I think I've been invited to the school grounds. Uh, all right, so maybe it'll be more difficult to losing weight. It's supposed to realistic. Or, yes, yes. Definitely more realistic in terms of losing weight, but it's also going to be super annoying. And so at least I feel that way at the moment. We're we good. We're we good. Anyway, like I said, so do we go over to the man, man game? You know what? Let's go loud. No, did I mess up? Well, I don't have to do this right now. Oh, oh, that was satisfying. Yes, yes. Uh huh. That's it. That wasn't it. Nope. Nope. That's the birdie. Right. Wait, that's not the right axe. Hey, he's super terrified. And you know what I just realized? I probably drew a lot of zombies to us just now. So, we have to deal with that. But this is also why we have two axes, not just one. Yes. So, we'll be smacking zombies for a little bit. And yeah, that's fine. It's fine. No, you don't. I miss. Back up. Ah. Ah. I feel like Jean Claude Van Damme. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Yes. See? Perfect. Perfect. What up? What up? You in the wrong neighborhood. That blue hat of yours. Bald spot. Ah. Oh. All right, no multi-hit, nope, uh, no multi-hit. We can kill one zombie at a time, all the time. So the panic set again is one issue we're gonna have. I do feel like I need to get my hands on a shotgun before uh, I go loud again. And as much as like as satisfying as the sound of that Magnum truly is, I, I need to go get a shotgun. Let's head over to the uh, to the police station. Let's see if we can break down the door to the armory, get our hands on a shotgun slash some ammo, and then we'll go through the rounds. But I, I, I like just those few shots, as satisfying as it was, kind of makes me feel like I need to work on the skill before I really dedicate, you know, blowing not only bullets, but also attracting more zombies to the area and creating a dangerous situation. See? Well, we survived it. You know, let's, let's be real about it. We we did well, we handled ourselves well. Uh oh, our kills are definitely over 100? Yeah, 124, so things are good. Things are good. Oh, well, they're police officers, so that's actually a good sign. It means I can get myself potentially some more ammo. So, let's see how that goes. You have a gun on you for sure, is that nightstick? Uh, yes, yes. Look at it. Holster. Yeah, it's just a nightstick on one of them. No, DE the there, M9 there. So, I don't have an M9, we'll take it. Nothing, nothing. Take the DE. They probably came to see me. Yes, indeed. Ma'am. You know your shirt looks a little messed up. Oh. <laughs> you should cover yourself effectively. Mind you, I would say that to men as well. I don't need to see your meat. Let's get to it. So, nope, can't own that. We'll disassemble it. Carpentry experience. Disassemble it. Perfect. 
Oh, look at it. Look at it. Proper mounts, lots of shells. I just need one shotgun. I see rifle. Oh, I got two shotguns. Perfect. Yes. Lots of shotgun. Oh, oh, oh yes. Game. You, you done me right this time. This is the way that it's supposed to be when you get to the police station. Oh, bullets. Shotgun shells. Don't care about none of that. That's fine. More shotgun shells, please. <laughs> We're about to go have some fun. And I'll work on our skills. Yay. So, I don't really need to grab all of them at the moment. I know that. And I'm going to leave, like, the other bullets here for now. But I'm taking the shotgun shells. <laughs> Oh, that is going to be a thing. Did I only grab one shotgun? Yeah. Why did... Oh, it's just too heavy. Okay. Oh. Oh, yeah. We're, we're really heavy at the moment. Let's not die. Oh. So, let's get out of here. It's okay to be a little heavy, but maybe I'm overdoing it? I don't care. We're getting to back to base. Okay, so once we get back to base, what we'll do is, you know, set, put our guns somewhere uh, so that way they're available and ready to go. We will decide how many shotgun, like, um, shell boxes that we need to carry with this. And then we're going to go over to the school. The school is usually fairly well populated. So is the, uh, the gas station. And in both of those cases, you know, we'll have an opportunity to what uh build our skills for the aiming skill which is gonna be a, a major thing we'll clear that area so if it turns into a super fight that's fine and then also at least if we go to the school we can find the how to use a generator mag potentially see he said it's pretty late it is 10 10 or 10 a.m so yeah Okay, uh, we are losing weight, which is kind of what we wanted. And we're definitely burning calories as we go, especially when this heavy. So, yay. And then if we take a look at our skills. I believe you're in this heavy, you build strength. Yeah, so strength goes up when you're um, heavy loaded. So, funny little thing to know, if you don't know. I'm going to place this shotgun on the table. Yes. We're gonna drop the shells. Where do I put the shells? Let's just stick them in here so they don't kill me. I thought it was PM when you said it was late. That's fair. All right, so the question. Since I'm gonna be throwing you all back. There you go. I'm gonna stick this other axe. That's wait. I have an axe in hand versus oh no, I've been using my axes improperly. That sucks. Let me place this one down. We'll just make sure we don't forget about it. Pretty sure I have a pickaxe, a few various different things around too. So I just need to think about what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. Um okay. This is the ammo round spot, so I've got four shell boxes. Is that enough? Don't need to carry this many pistols with me. The M9. Nah, wait. For sure, don't want to carry that. I already have a DE pistol with me, so do I need to carry the other one? No. I can eject the mag, though. There you go. So after ejecting the bag, oh, tch, tch, tch. this is the one that have in hand. We rack it. And now we stick you in here. Awesome. I want to eject your mag. Insert bullets. Why? Insert bullets. That is not a full mag, so where's the box? Let's open one more box real quick. Perfect. 
And then we insert bullets. And then we insert a magazine. Doesn't matter which one. And we're all set. So. Pistol. Set. Let's open a box of shotgun shells here real quick. Uh, pull you out. We will load our shotgun. Perfect. Stick our extra bullets there. Stick our extra bullets there. Why does it feel so heavy? What's going on? You know the meat cleaver is not that heavy. There's no way. I guess it is. I do have extra stuff that I don't need to be carrying. Like the twigs, for example, don't need to carry it. Oh, goodness. Do you like the idea of having them just in case later? Put the mug away. Always keep the bowl. And... Yeah, I'm still pretty heavy. It's really just because this duffel bag isn't the type of bag that you want. So, all right, not that big of a deal. Let's get him a moment to rest. We will rest our bodies and speed through. Yay. Carpentry experience. There it is. So now we can start reading the carpentry book so we can boost that. You don't really need to boost cooking. Just call that one out. But, you know, we've been doing it just because we're not going to miss out on experience for no reason. Uh, so get rid of you. Pull you out. Disassemble these earbuds real quick. Yay. Go ahead and eat you. And we're all set. Things are looking good. All right, let's go get some experience. Level up. I'm gonna take a whole pineapple in two leaks. That's the plan. So when a character smokes, do a little smoke animation show. Yes, you will see your character, you know, take a puff, a drag, whatever, of whatever they're smoking. So I say whatever they're smoking, it's, it's just cigarettes. <laughs> Oh, but still. I don't know if I should start with the hand. No, we don't start with the hand. We start with the shotgun. So let's get ourselves over there. Put the axe in the bag. And we're good. Actually, maybe because of how I'm doing this, the axe should go on our back. Like I said, we're going to head over to the school. Now, there are a lot of ways to do that. I'm actually going to take the direct route, which can also lead to zombies pulling around us. There you go. Just got one so far. Let's see how many zombies we get going for us. Just the one who was here. Interesting. Yes, 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 yes. Give me your attention. Is there a bunch of zombies in that house? Yep. Yes, are good. It's a party house. All right, I see it. Oh, t -t -t -t. I don't want to lose you guys. Can you bundle up? Make it easy for me to create the deaf amoeba. And then I'll start lobbing rounds into the group. This is, this is a good group. Yeah, this is a good group. Just wait to get started. Don't wait to get started. <laughs> oh, shit. Ah, ah. There you go. Uh-huh. Low too slow, dude. Like, uh, not digging that. Hang on. There you go. There you go. No reason for me to like go through shotgun shells if it's just one Z twos you the whole time. Nope. There you go. Uh huh. 
Uh. Oh. That's not onesie twosie anymore. <laughs> Yo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Hold on. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Get where you should be. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. uh, did I not think this through? I don't know if I thought this through, George. <laughs> all right, wait, wait. There you go. There it goes. Oh, that, yeah, that's still. Nope, nope, nope. Why are there so many of you in this neighborhood? There's no way that you all live here. Now, I never do this this early in a playthrough. Like, I'm just going to call that out right now. <laughs> so, woo! Y'all were close. Granted, this early in the playthrough, I never have, you know, access to a shotgun, this many bullets, and whatnot. So, oh. Alright, 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 alright. Death Amoeba, Death Amoeba. I see a spot. Go for it, go for it, go for it. Don't trip, don't trip. That's how you die. Oh. <sighs> All right, did I just like mess this up? I feel like I've done something wrong. I feel like I've done something wrong. Yeah, I've done something wrong. Um, oh, what? What? <laughs> bullets, bullets, bullets. Can I, I need to open another set of shells. Yes, I definitely have not thought this through. Um, opened. George, George. Reload, reload. Can I reload? It's all you're good. Okay. What is happening? What is happening? Spit round and chin. Racket. I agree. Racket. Come on. Uh, Ragged? I make a mistake in my question like did I create too much of a horde too soon because I am very concerned uh, like I'm kind of blocking off my own exit because the base is the other direction man like, there you go. well I did say I wanted to clear out the space man so you know we're gonna deal with it I feel like I played far too much Project Zomboy to, you know, be intimidated by this. <laughs> I still am, but I feel like I shouldn't be. <laughs> I mean, but in fairness, this is actually worked out well. Like, I mean, they're a little spread out, so if I can get them to bundle up again. Uh oh. <laughs> panic for me. Word. Heard. Got it. Yes. Yeah, this still feels good good you know it feels like it's working out yeah, I don't want to waste shotgun shells like I said before oh oh okay I'm just gonna keep walking it you know just keep walking it don't burn your stamina don't panic even though he is a freaking mess <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 ma'am, you get shot for that. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Like I said, it feels good. It, it feels really good. Uh. 
Right. I still have zombies pouring in over here, which I acknowledge that I have not cleared the area, so it makes sense for... disrespect that you have to feel or, you know this random survivor standing on top of you, shooting your friends and then stomping on your face yeah. oh bam bam reload and they're still pouring in like uh, interesting interesting uh, am i gonna clear out the town already that's awesome i guess you gosh darn zombies, you ain't taking my home. Alright dude, alright, that was... Y'all need to stop coming down this forest area, like, that tree line is kicking my butt. Ooh, come on, push him over. I don't want to use a bullet. Not for you, dude. It's not worth it. Ah, uh, only got one. There you go. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> I feel really good about what has just occurred, so... Ah... Killing spree... A proper killing spree, that was a good 100 zombies, hang on, let's pull it up real quick. We just killed 120 zombies with a shotgun. Oh... I am also going to point out that I ride my bike, like I ride a bicycle, pedal bicycle, right? And I put on my riding glasses for the night for some reason, like I legitimately have riding glasses on my face. And I'm just now realizing I have them on because I was like, why does my face feel so like pressed? And it's because I am literally tinting my face so much that I can feel the rim of my glasses at the moment. And I'm still oh man, but that that is super satisfying. I am very happy with how that turned out um and i feel like i used all the rounds you know, i'm not i'm not gonna open another box i will uh let's uh let's do this and then we'll throw you on the back and anybody who's still coming up will handle but we'll call it and take off my writing glasses. <laughs> um, true, true. Are we good? I feel like we're good. We just created a whole bunch of carnage for <laughs> our first day, and we we uh, I say our first our first day, our first stream. But what? That was way more than I expected. So officially, this is a firearms playthrough. <laughs> We've killed more zombies with firearms now than axes and anything else. So yay to us. Uh, we are covered in blood. Yeah, I decided to be an axe murderer. <laughs> I'm sorry, not an axe murderer. That's not true. So we definitely tested the shotgun. And I mentioned before the shotgun was the way to get skills. And guess what? We almost hit level five. Uh, so that's a thing too. All right, get that fishing skill, which I didn't really need. But again, it gave us an opportunity to break away from all the killing. So that's fine, I suppose. <laughs> I embodied the name of Rick. <laughs> I am going to use that statement, actually. So we took a moment to embody the name of Rick. All right, there we go. Well, you know, we had ourselves a snack. He's already a little tired, which fair. It is exhausting to murder zombies the way we just got done doing. Uh, but even still, let's get some reading in. Do you want to be prepared for tomorrow? Like I said, I can slow down on the cooking experience. Level five is fine 
for a vegan playthrough uh, we'll be gaining that you know periodically as we go the carpentry skill is the hard one it's not really hard but it's just tedious in my personal opinion so same thing with the electrical skill if i had a fast way of doing that i would too uh, so read the book we will go to sleep soon and tomorrow you know we'll make sure we hit the tv up uh get ourselves together i mentioned before we were going to head over to the school we didn't make it there because we ended up on a killing spree <laughs> um but you know it is what it is um i think it's still fair to continue to read actually so we'll do that push it to 11 30. there you go and then we'll go to sleep All right, can we uh, sleep? Yes, go. So yeah, I mm. <laughs> feel like I'm very combat focused at the moment, which I, I, I mean, I'm not like, this is what we intended. This is what we intended. This is what we intended. So I don't know why I'm acting weird about it. We would have had, I mean, zombie dreams after a day like that. That's a fair statement, you know. You take a moment and murder hundred, literally a hundred of your f friends and family within the town um, with a shotgun. You're not going to sleep soundly. It, it, none of us are axe murderers, at least I hope you're not. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you got to adjust and become desensitized. And if you're not already there, then, you know, what do you do? You find ways to cope. And in the case of our character, our ways of coping will be wonderfully cooked meals. And that's why we have the cooking skill. Um, but there are a lot of ways to manage stress in game. So, yeah. I think it is fair for him. We'll eat the lime. Limes and lemons don't have uh, a use in recipes. So, call that out real quick. Therefore, we'll eat those as they are, especially when we start foraging them. But at the moment, like I said, I'm trying to maximize my carpentry skill. Super important. So. Uh, can we kill this book before 11 o'clock? Oh, I said 11 o'clock. 12 o'clock hits. Um, let's see. We can crush the book. Now nah, we're not going to finish it. That's okay. We'll get what we can. Let's see the boost. There it is. All right. So we got a full level. We almost hit level six. That's perfect. So let's kill the book, like I said, and then we will be ready tomorrow. Yeah. Come on, dude. Finish it. Goodness. It's only a couple more pages. You slow reader, you. By the way, in real life, I'm not a slow reader. <laughs> I actually read very fast. So, um, I enjoy reading books and reading quickly. is isn't so much me not paying attention to the book. It's just, you know, when I'm into it, I really sit down and go through my books. So, uh, all right. So we throw our slices in here real quick. And let's start cooking. we we'll go with a wonderful fruit salad which was based on watermelon oh uh, nothing wrong with that add some mango add a strawberry and a little bit more mango finish it up with watermelon fruit salad perfect fruit salad and because we have a fork he eats with a fork And say it's filling. Say, say it's filling. This is why we have the cooking skill. Full to bursting. <laughs> All right. And we should not be gaining weight. Yes. Okay. So after our wonderful killing spree, um, we should be pretty clear out here to start, you know, doing some stuff. Um, I'm not going to make it all the way to school with this amount of time left in the day. There is foraging experience to be had at the TV today, so I'm not going to go too far away. Usually, I'd be sitting around like, man, I should 
you know, loot these bodies and things like that. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, what I am gonna do, let's go ahead and work on the forging skill. I said, I mentioned it, it's a good idea. And as usual, I prefer to go with fresh food rather than uh, perishable food, non-perishable foods for as long as possible. So, um, not to mention we can work on the foraging skill a bit, but I didn't read the book, so yeah. Maybe this isn't the most fruitful thing to do at four o'clock in the afternoon. I don't know. I don't know. Let's uh. Maybe I, maybe that's what I should do. I'll just go back in the house, read some more books. I don't think it's it hurts to take a break from murdering zombies. No, oh, we definitely killed our quota, <laughs> so oh, we should be fair about that, right? Yeah, yeah. Why not? We finished the carpentry book. Um, so after finishing the carpentry carpentry book, maybe we do just take a moment and read the forging book. If we read the forging book, that'll give us an opportunity to get to level six there as well pretty quickly and then other things but this is great i mean the fact that we're almost level five and aiming <laughs> my gun skill is already awesome after all of fun experience uh oh is there any needs is there any shows he needs to watch no no like i said at the moment we'll have the exposure survival show that starts at 1800 it will give foraging experience it's not much and the reason for that is because foraging is one of the easier skills to level if you understand the mechanics and we do understand it uh, whereas other people you know struggle with that a park ranger and then of course who somebody who understands the system we're not gonna have trouble so you'll notice the foraging popped up for a moment we mostly got boredom is there's nothing that came from it so like let's be real Tomorrow, I think it's the same thing. So, yeah. But again, getting the bonuses on the foraging skill will super help us level this. Cause we already know level 10, if I can find pumpkins and watermelons outside, we're gonna enjoy that. Um, same thing with the carpentry skill. Once we hit carpentry level six, I'll start reading the next book and we'll put ourselves in a situation where we're ready to hit carpentry level seven before anything weird happens so i said weird happens power goes out water goes out etc so i am trying to be prepared i'm also thinking at the moment like do we really base up here in riverside i feel like this is that riverside rosewood um i don't think we'll make like a standing base like we had before because you can just kill everything pretty quickly. Heck, I, I think I've cleared at least half the town <laughs> just for what we got to do. <laughs> uh, so we'll see. Did we grab all the books from the place? No. Uh, we grabbed the books, the essentials. We definitely grabbed the essentials. And it's enough. I mentioned before that there are other books like the tailoring book and... Um, mechanics book things like that i'm not going to do because they're not really our play style all right time for bed dude but we do need to go find the how to use the generators mag and again we'll find that at the school hopefully you know fingers crossed um so if that does happen then we're technically done <laughs> like it is literally just survive uh, get past the helicopter event and thrive. But if you think about it, what have we done now, right? Um, <laughs> it is day four, effectively. We've already killed 273 zombies. We've got a ton of skills covered uh, because we had access to those books. We are in a stable base. Like, there's no arguments there, right? Um, and it's really just comes down to what are the essentials? What are the things that you feel like you absolutely need? And yeah, we'll start working on those. So what I'll do is sit here real quick, read through the rest of the forging book. We'll get the carpenter experience from the midday show and eat again. Hmm. And then probably start thinking about heading towards the school. 
So this book should almost be done. Again, him being a slow reader is just not the greatest experience when you have to deal with books. But, you know, fast forwarding is a thing. So, yay, we do lose time in the day, though. And that's just something that you have to deal with. But here we go with the midday. Like I said, I called it out that we'd finish the book. We'd get the midday show. We'd get the carpentry experience. Yay. And now we move on to the next book, which is Carpenter Level 4. And that means essentially before, uh, what? Before the power goes out? Actually, before the TV goes out, I'm sorry. I'm actually hoping that we're in a position where we already have all the skills that we would need. If I get to a point when I try to match, max all the skills, no. Um, there are still skills that I don't like. And like I said before, mechanics, metalworking, and tailoring just are very unique in what they can offer to the player. Um, so unless you want it like a Mad Max base, a lot of people don't use metalworking. <laughs> You'll level the skills so that way you have access to things like repairing your hood more effectively, more than uh, you would use it for building metal containers or walls. But if you really want to go down that road, you can. So, and I've just, I've never really explored that because it's not the aesthetic I like, you know, if, if I play as a park ranger. I like the, the forest, the nature, et cetera, the green that is there to be offered. So it just depends. Oh, uh, so I'm not trying to, you know, step on anybody's taco who <laughs> enjoys that metalworking look and feel of the game. It's just not for me. Oh, that said, you know, I do have a mod installed that allows me to make more jar lids for canning purposes. So a thing that a lot of people know is when you decide to do jar and canning in this game, if, oh crap, I just <laughs> forgot that foraging experience is massive. Uh, anyway, so the jar and canning, whenever you jar and can, the moment you open it and you take the lid off, the lid is disposed of in the game. So a lot of times the jars are technically one use items because you lose the lid after the fact. Well, with the uh, the mod, you can use metalworking and you can take a metal sheet and turn it into a new lid. So it gives, you know, reuse to those those jars, which is kind of what I'm looking for, hoping for. Um, so I'll work on the metal skill for that. And I need to go and get food from the gig market. But uh, things are looking good so far. I think I will continue to read books, you know, knowledge, very important. <laughs> and yeah, the cooking skill, once you get cooking level seven, I think it is, you can start using rotten food. It is far too early in the playthrough to worry about something like that. Uh, not to mention our rotten food, be rotten veggies that we can get our hands on as a forager. So I don't, I'm not concerned about that. For you meat loving players out there, that'd be a different story though, right? So, can you do? All right, we'll eat the lime and call it a night. We almost finished this book. But yeah, we <laughs> done a crap load, um, at least for our survival crafting skills, getting started, which is amazing, like right out the gate. It just comes down to combat will, will be our essentials. And then electrical as well, right? Oof, we still got to get those solar panels going. Not even two hours in. Yes. <laughs> but I did walk in here, you know, today with the expressed intention of F this game, I'm going to own some products on board. I'm sick of dying. So that's how I felt walking into this. And hopefully it is reflecting. Oh, uh, so yeah. We're gonna eat this pumpkin pie. That's gonna be our, our meal today. The cooking show. Let's see if we can get to our uh, experience here. Pineapple slice. I'm gonna eat a fourth of that. Is that pineapple sack? Pumpkin slice. There it is. All right. So cooking level six. So I get three major skills at level six already. Like that's perfect. It's amazing gonna read our book again stay the course uh, if you have the skill books read them so that way you can double up on bonuses for the tv 
So that's awesome, and that's essentially what we're doing here. I'm going to finish this book well before time comes along. Okay, eat the pumpkin slice. Problem with hearty appetite is you just want to eat all the dang time. Goodness gracious, dude. Fog outside? Yep, fog outside. Come on, finish the book. Finish the book. Wouldn't be able to sit in front of the TV and read at the same time. I'm actually good at that, but if something is engaging on TV, like you want to see what's happening, you're going to put the book down. The same thing is true for the book. Like if you're really involved in the book, you don't want the TV, you know, there in the background. So it, it kind of does depend um, is what I would say there. But majority of the time I can do both. Yeah. You wouldn't watch some, you know, suspense TV show. But you know, it is what it is. Why? I feel like... Oh, that's right. I completely forgot about that. So, um, question. Do I get another book? Yes. I have Forge in level four, don't I? So I can start reading that. I don't have any more carpentry books, so fair enough. Yeah, so we, we did a bunch of killing. We've done a bunch of skill gains uh, to get started in this series. <laughs> and we've been, you know, soaking up knowledge in front of the television as we hang out here so carpentry skills at level seven look at that we're perfect now so we're ready to go we're able to build the um crap the rain collector now and that's great absolutely great this is another really good start for a series which scares me because if we go all the way back to Raymond's playthrough, his start was not simple. It was not easy. We struggled hard to get to a point where we're like, yeah, we're good. Uh, at the moment, we ain't struggling, so <laughs> I'm concerned. I am very concerned. Uh, so yeah, let's... And like even our shotgun killing spree uh, not too long ago, that was intense you know we can say that that's fair but at the same time it was completely brought on by ourselves like we didn't we weren't forced into that situation so oh uh, that was not the case in raymond's life we dealt with it we did learn a lot from raymond oh uh, and actually when i was just getting done with the shotgun situation that we just played through I was even thinking about, like, what did I do with Raymond when we went to retrieve the hat? Because that was my first major shotgun oh, engagement back then. So, we we learned a lot in that playthrough, for sure. Uh, what is that? Slugs. Slugs. I don't need any of that. It would been cool if I got something nice, but I didn't. I don't know how I feel about walking through these, this pile of zombies again. Um, <laughs> ew, slugs. I assume the ew was for the slugs. Ew. Maybe I shouldn't forage while walking at the moment. Like I said, I'm going to walk through this pile of zombies that I left behind. Um, but... I'm going to point out for a non-gun player to take the hunter trait, to have that plus one in aiming, I think we made all the difference. Not to mention we are also a fast learner. So plus one in aiming plus fast learner is essentially double the experience um, for shooting. So having the shotgun and using that, we power leveled our aiming. Which was essentially what I had planned to do. I just never done it before. So I was like, I don't know how well this is going to work. It worked out really well. I've already got maggots on the ground out here. It has been two days. So, yeah. Left out in the heat. 76 degrees out, you know. Oh, it's nice and silent. Oh, I got a straggler. Hello, you're not supposed to be here. You didn't catch a bullet later. Well, earlier, sorry. Nothing but green. Zombie. Yes, I put you laid down and then you got it too. No. Okay. Painting torch. There's a lot of, of resources around. For like crafting. 
I've noticed that. Huh. I hope I didn't mess anything up well, when I set up the world, but it is what it is. Having resources for crafting still means I have to make stuff. It's not just given to me, so I'm fine with that. Hi, how you doing, neighbor? Good night. I hear a zombie. I don't see a zombie. Yeah, oh, uh, am I going to school now? I am here. <laughs> I'm here. You know what? That's a great point. Wait a minute. Oh, uh, I'm. No, I'm not. I've already gotten the milestones from the TV I want. I know I'm kind of leaving some uh, exposure survival training on this, but I think the next day of exposure survival is trapping experience. Fair amount of zombies over here, aren't there? All right, all right. All right. Oh, you messed up the kill spree, bro. Oh, I was trying to check to see if he had shotgun shells. He's got some. Let's unload. Got a revolver, too. Good. This is equipped. It. This one's on the back. I'm going to... Ah. Uh, Racket. Oh. Hmm. Can I just put you down? You know what? I'm going to take it with me and then we'll see if I can just keep a hold of it later. There it goes. Anyway, my favorite window on the school is right there. Hey -o. All right, so the only thing we're really here for is the generator bag. So let's just make this quick. Anything and everything else, we're pretty much good on. I'll take the good cooking magazine, the farming magazine, the metalworking magazine, and another metalworking magazine so thank you uh oh, nothing else so good 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 just come over here real quick hunter's mag engineering mag again metalwork mag good take a look over here how to use generator sick Good to go. So now that we've got that, oh, and we can now work on all of the vehicles. So we can leave. I say that. Hang on. Uh, I don't remember if we got electronics two and three, so we'll grab those. It'll just save us a lot of headaches later. And I want to think about it. There's a four. We'll take that. And I think we're good. So don't be wrong, I know that in a lot of ways, especially from the experience that we've had in this game, that I've taken the easy road by choosing to spawn in Rosewood. Um, but that's also a reason why I'm going to take on the massive, you know, undertaking of trying to clear the towns. So since I've gotten such a great start at the beginning, um, I should make my life harder later at the end. Ooh, we're a little bit hungry. Maybe we should go check out the oh, cafeteria real quick. Anybody around? No, we're good. You can always check the lockers too. If anybody has like a paper bag, the paper bags will have 
lunches in them, essentially. Lunchbox would also do it too. But like I said, it's just faster if I go over to the um, the cafeteria. Thought we had an apple on us? No, I don't recall bringing food. Nope. Which we need to go back over to the. Um... Ooh, burritos are rotten. That's not good. Yeah, anyway, we need to go back over to the Giga Market. Pick up the stuff that we left in the freezer. Hey, this is good. Lots of baked stuff available to us. Gravy mix. Potato. Eat a potato. Let's eat a straight potato because we about that life. Um, yeah. For the moment, we'll leave it at that. Do I walk out this door or not? I'm going to just take the risk, you know, see what happens. Go from there. Uh, that's actually something I've noticed. There have been very few cars spawned. Huh. Like, I've been on foot for a minute now. The few cars that I saw back at the beginning were locked, and I didn't try to get into them at the time. But now that I think about it, you know, a little more seriously, it's like, yeah, if I'm going to another town, I need a car. And that car <laughs> needs to function to some degree. Oh, uh, and that is just not something I'm seeing around at the moment. So game be good to me? Not really. Uh, these are all busted to hell. So maybe I can walk in here real quick and see if I can catch the TV show. I've got enough time to kind of make it back if I run. So. I thought about it too, not having cardio, especially the solar panel information. Yeah, so, you know, little things to worry about. So the thing that we have to worry about at the moment is having a car, <laughs> losing some weight. You know, so those are our issues at the moment. Do we have access to weapons, ammo, a good place to legitimately live for a little bit? Like we do. Um, even if we didn't have the water situation that we currently have, we have a ton of water in the Rosewood fire station, which is why it's one of the favorite spots. It's not just the spawns for loot, um, uh, or having a second story access point or exit point as well. You can legitimately sit inside of the Rosewood fire station. You have what the water sink that's over here in the washroom. There is a sink here in the garage. There are... Oh my goodness, water stations, so water, water fountains, there are two water fountains over here. Um, there's a water jug over here, a bathroom with a toilet, a sink, um, showers that are back here along with another bathroom, like on both sides for male and female. Like this is water heaven <laughs> if you didn't already have water. So after you go through all your water sources, then you essentially need to figure out, you know, power, but... Um, you have access. You have lots of opportunities for success living in this building for at least the first, what, month to three months, depending on how you play. Oh, right outside, we have the farms. So you have foraging opportunities. You got a lot of things. It is a big place to power. It is definitely a big place to power, though. And it's not an easy place to defend, despite the fact you have a fence on three sides because of how large it actually is. I knew it. This was trapping. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, but no reason to leave skill points on the table, even if we don't plan on using them. All right, let's go through these mags. Game. Game. Not use generator. We have so much knowledge in our brain. Oh, that's amazing. Like I said, we're dead. This is quite literally one of the best, like, starts I've had. 
Oh, so there's that. Okay. So, magazines, red. Uh, I've read that one too, so we'll throw them in here real quick. This bookshelf is nice and full up. I am not going to read the electrical books anytime soon, so we'll drop those. I'm not going to focus on cooking. How people during the pandemic develop skills. Yeah, I mean, it's true. And let's go ahead and grab some food. Hmm. And again, I need to start solving that problem. <laughs> oh, I mentioned before that. Okay, the cupcake goes for 20. So we'll go ahead and eat that. And that should do it for us. But I'm hoping that doesn't reset like our nutrition situation. Yeah, we're in a negative thousand. Okay, that's fine. Hey, well, like I was saying, um, you know, we need to start packing up the refrigerator. I need to get my hands on a car. You know, that's a, another issue. So we can move some stuff around. Um, if I go over towards the Giga Market again, the gas station's over there, and there's a, a parking lot that's near... Um, Goodness, the uh, the mechanic shop. The problem with that is if I go over there, I'm going to want to pull out the shotgun again, right? And go all, you know, super crazy, shoot everybody. Doing that has the disadvantage if I will definitely pull the rest of the town. <laughs> so if I've cleared out, you know, a good half of Rosewood by going into the center of the... Uh, the residential zoned area let's pull this up real quick so residential area here i cleared this you know oh um, and i definitely dragged a bunch of zombies from various spots over here right so if i go over here i don't expect to hit a large group again same thing on this side maybe on this side of the the school because we saw some zombies over here and we didn't kill them right but the problem would be is if I drive over here, I, I haven't pulled anything around. So we've killed some down this main street. There are a ton of zombies still sitting on this side. So it's just kind of being aware that if I go over there looking for a car, it's a fight. Um, and am I willing to deal with that fight when we're effectively hungry? <laughs> oh, it's a question. If I can find a car like right up front, then maybe, but it's just something I'm thinking about. I've got, I don't have the shells. I don't, I do have the shells. I'm gonna take a few boxes. I'm gonna drop the stones. I don't need the extra shotgun, so. Keeping that mostly for being able to repair. So repair purposes is the only reason why I didn't toss that shotgun. So, oh, uh, there we go. And I think we're mostly good. Yeah, mostly good. So question, it's gonna be food. So let's go get some food. We will pull out the shotgun, put the ax on the back, and just be prepared to fight. What kind of car we want. I know I'm still going to go industrial. And the reason for that is because we are a Sunday driver still. I mean, it's kind of a thing. Oh, that one point is essential to our, <laughs> our normal build. So even though I did make some adjustments to the build by adding Hunter... Oh, um, it doesn't change the fact that Sunday driver is always kind of a, a thing that I have to, I always work into my character. So it's going to be more about storage than anything else. So yeah, the truck style rather than performance style is going to be a thing that I'm focused on with vehicles.
Ooh, here I'm level up. Where the leather gloves? Because the leather gloves have saved our life, you know, in the past. So, I'm gonna put the shotgun on the back. So, yeah, like, don't, like, the hatchback is fine. I don't, if I had to select between these cars here, it would be this hatchback over here. Oh, uh, <laughs> but definitely not something I'm looking for. So, okay. So, I've got a van over here, and that would technically count. I don't think I've ever gone inside this building and honestly looted it so uh oh i don't plan to either but still can i get y'all attention over there freeloaders what are y'all doing stop loitering please i'm looking for a bite to eat i know you guys are too so i just figured we'd talk about it we'll walk into it yep enjoy Don't need tape, but thank you. Code pack would be interesting if we were an engineer, but we are not. Ooh, unlocked. No keys. Twine. Ugh. Nothing. Yo, <laughs> you got lots of stuff in this truck, though. Lots of metalworking stuff. I see no keys, which is unfortunate. So unless I can hotwire it, I can't do anything with that. Um, hmm. Let's say unless I can hotwire it. There'll be a point when I learn how to hotwire, I'm just it's not right now. Ooh, ooh. Is that a spiffo hat? Game, what did I just pick up? I don't think I've ever found the spiffo like hat before so fun but i'm dropping it definitely not oh no did i just drop my socks yeah <laughs> i didn't mean to do that uh -oh. get rid of that not my thing we're good we're good just get the experience. Don't always have to interact with it. Um, get the experience. Don't always have to interact with it. Just saving my stamina. Can call that out real quick. I know I can check these houses again for food. I feel like I went through the refrigerators for fresh stuff, so I'm not gonna do that again. Um, take a look at my skill gains. I'm doing okay. Yeah, ghost town. We, we we did some work in this area already, so. Mm, we're too hungry to do that right now. I need to eat. So let's go to the Giga Market first. Before, actually, no, let's not go to the Giga Market. Giga, we have power still. So the sacks of different things that we left in the gig market are still in a good spot. So if we go in here and head up to these apartments, I didn't hit every one of these apartments. Save, peach. Grab the onion. Yep. Sorry. Yes, I'm an idiot. Door. That was obvious. Take lime. Yay. Nice spot, by the way, if this works for me. Suit jacket. Maybe. Word, guitarist, another revolver. Hmm. It is a nice studio. It is definitely a nice studio. Engineering student, maybe?
Respect. Respect. All right, let's take a look for last of the fresh food. Ooh, hi. Ooh, again. <laughs> the hell? Anybody else? Like, why y'all just hanging out of the door like that? <laughs> okay, just take a moment and appreciate the fact that we're still alive. <laughs> Nothing crazy happened. Oh my goodness. All right. Uh, you guys don't have food in here. I guess I'll just go ahead and start taking the cooking supplies and keep saying I'm going to take. Goodness gracious. Yeah, they weren't doing nothing. They were just sitting there waiting for somebody to be like, I'm going to open the door and get bit today. I tell you, man, Project Zomboid will have it out for you at times. Be like, it is time for you to start pooping your pants. Uh, but, you know, that is the director's job to create interesting interactions for you and for anybody else who's watching you, so. And out we go, perfect. All right, that little excursion was not all that I wanted it to be, so. Like I said, we're looking for a vehicle. Let's stay on task. We are looking for a car. <laughs> um, so if we find ourselves a car real quick and whatnot, we can start packing things in. If we don't find ourselves a car, uh, uh, there is still more carpentry experience to be had, I believe. So come midday, I do want to be in front of a TV. Uh oh. Not like we need the carpenter experience. Actually, that's kind of the point, right? Do I need it? Nah, I still should leave the experience point on the table, right? Smash window. Perfect. Smash window. Perfect. Door's locked, so you can figure yourself out. All right, so back in the market. River that cereal is a good way to reset your weight loss, but we don't plan on doing that. At least not anytime soon um so we'll be leaving that stuff around and just kind of focus on the things that make sense to us definitely not another watermelon gonna be in here um you know i think we're to a point where we have to ask ourselves are we going to be using these things vinegar i will leave that there for now but the fruit jam and stuff will work for us don't need any of that oats we can take the oats i don't plan on making bread just yet because again that's high calorie too so lots of cereal lots of breads lots of beans lots of flour so lots of breads lots of flour uh vinegar sure yeah so i'm not going to take anything from here at this point basically which is good and bad Okay, so let's take a look at this parking lot real quick. See if we can find ourselves a truck. It's good that I don't see a bunch of zombies hanging around. So, yay. Bad in terms of time of day. Zombie? Zombie. What's in your head? Uh, keys. Let's get those real quick. Yes. Perfect. And were they keys to this vehicle? Yes. And. I'm going to say there's no. Oh! Yo! You almost got me. I was paying attention when I got out. 
But I have keys to a vehicle, so that's good. Let's see if it's just a gas situation or what? No, this car is busted. That's not usually you. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I could always repair the vehicle too, if I think about it. Uh, let's head this direction. Let's get back over to the telly. <laughs> Going to the telly. See if we can uh, get some experience real quick. Why not? Give us our, our break and then think about where else we can check for a vehicle. So um, I say think about it. I know exactly where else we can check for a vehicle. Behind these buildings are parking lots. So they do spawn back there too. Um, but I shouldn't say but. That's what we're going to do next. We're still going to get inside real quick. So we can get ourselves some experience and go from there. Uh, I'll go this side. And device options turn you down. Put life of living on. I don't know where that beating noise is coming from, though. So you get another carpenting level experience, so why not, right? <laughs> Dude, you got so much carpentry experience at this point. It's insane. Okay. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's just drink some water. Turn on this light. Let's go outside. Get the heck out of here. Because I hear, like, a bunch of banging, so... I don't know where that banging's coming from, and I'm not gonna hang out and find out. Yo, what are y'all doing over there? Church is not in session. Mm, okay, put the axe away. I can't put the axe away. Interesting. All right, well. Mm-hmm. Three for the price of one. Shuck a chill. Perfect. Perfect. There, like, still a bunch of zombies over here. Oh, again, this is a neighborhood I intentionally have to touch. Right? So, shouldn't say intentionally. I just haven't walked into that neighborhood, so. Nice miss, lady. Doesn't always work out that way, though. <laughs> See, you just gotta get quick with it. Came over to save your friend. Well, you both still got the same shell, so. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I was gonna just knock you over, but okay. Another duffel. Interesting. That's hard beating. Are you saying that you can hear the heartbeat, you know, sound because of him being so panicked? Yo, yo, I, I see the bag. 
Oh. No. <laughs> yes. Make it, make it quick. Make it quick. Make it quick. Give me back. Give me back. Give me back. Ah, oh, crap. Really. I mean, I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving without the bag. You can see it there on the ground. You can see it there on the ground. Die. Game. Game. Zombies. Zombie. Just wait, dude. Just wait. Yep, yep. Okay, uh, I need to open a box. I need to open a box. Okay, to be fair, like we've killed a lot of zombies and maybe the game's just like oh well you've done so well so here you go <laughs> but still um i don't i don't know what to say i have to point out that the gun thing might be a little might be a little much like i i feel like it's a little too easy now <laughs> Oh, um, but we are in, in Rosewood. I shouldn't say that until we make it over to West Point or something. Oh, uh, 30 days from now. And yeah, no. Yeah, that was it. So many bodies. Yes. Uh, the the work that we put in. We've almost killed. Like, this, this is Raymond level already. We've almost killed 500 zombies in a single stream. Oh, uh, which I know we are getting to a point where we are killing like 500 zombies in Louisville a day with Raymond, but it doesn't change the fact like this, this is a test. <laughs> I'm liking it. I'm having a lot of fun in this playthrough at the moment, so I'm not going to lie about it, but you know, and more importantly, we still do not have a vehicle. I just noticed there's not a hatchback over there. I'll take a look at that. So I don't know. Oh. You know, I am grateful for what we have. I recognize the limitations that we currently have, especially in the fact that we don't have like a stable food situation. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that, but the pancakes will work for us for now. The oats will work for us. We need to get some fresh food and that just might now come down to doing foraging. Um, I didn't get the sacks when we were over at, um, the giga market because we don't have a truck and I would prefer to bring all of it back rather than grab grabbing one bag at a time. Um, especially for our cooking experience. But again, this is a good payout. Now the fact that we have a large backpack is an 85%, I said 85, yeah, 85% reduction to encumbrance. That is the best bag we can get. So you want to talk about, you know, <laughs> gains from, uh, our experience we we have have wonderful gains from the work that we put in we have had wonderful gains and it goes a super long way in the fact that you know we still are able to start with guns like we this is the first week i didn't even realize we're on day seven so we've completed six days and six hours we are on day seven. Oh, goodness gracious we've done so much We've done so much. Oh, goodness. Okay. Let's let's get let's get there. Let's get there. You know, we're not gonna stop until we make it. We lost a few kilos too. We're sitting at 103. And again, that might just be our life with this character where he's always like, dude, I'm hungry. Because he's just a peckish person. <laughs> so, Alright, let's uh let's make the transfer. So transfer all. So when the helicopter events would it wouldn't matter using guns. Not be, yeah, no, yeah. So during the helicopter event at this point, it wouldn't matter because you know oh, the noise of the helicopter actually travels further than the sound of gunfire does. So no, it wouldn't. You know, we would just deal with anything and everything coming at us in all directions. <laughs> um. So yeah.
All right, new bag acquired. Dope bag, it's it down. Goodness, the work that we put in is intense. Let's drop anything that says cooking, the exception of our bowl. So I need to pull that back out real quick. Non perishables will also go over here real quick. And at this point, he's just hungry, which is fair. So we haven't cooked <laughs> with pancakes yet. So we'll go ahead and do that because we are capable of doing so. And then we'll slap our pancakes in here. Oh, uh, turn that on. I don't know how long it takes for pancakes to cook in game, in game. Pancakes cooked. Okay. And then I'm pretty sure that he can put honey on the pancakes. Yep. There you go. Honey pancakes. Which for those of you who do not know, that actually is a thing. <laughs> oh, putting honey on pancakes is definitely a thing. All right, cool. So that actually didn't change anything. Oh no, it just gave more unhappiness and boredom. All right, well, maybe I won't do that. So it didn't give a nutritional increase. Yeah. There you go. Oh, let's fill our water bottle because it's empty. Let's wash ourselves. Do I prefer pancakes or French toast? Well, French toast is not vegan, so let's call that out real quick. But prior to going vegan, yeah, it would have been French toast. Now, can you make a vegan French toast? Yes, it's weird. It's very sweet. Um, every way I've had a vegan French toast today is very sweet. But uh, answer is yes, <laughs> regardless how you put it. Okay, eat the oops. Bowl of oats. I can just, oh, I can add fruit jam to it, huh? Goes from 10 to 14. So that's good. That is a good trade off. And then I can eat that. Show our nutrition real quick. And we are definitely under. So that's still good. And we're feeling pretty good about ourselves. Well, let's rest our bodies. Exposure survival. We got foraging experience. Look at that. So, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. So level seven foraging already. Level eight carpentry. Level six cooking. Um, all in the first week. And wait, 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 wait. Our aiming skill is level five. So that is awesome. So what will hunting help your vegan character? It won't. <laughs> um, the fact that the tra the trapping is there is really just because it comes with the um goodness the park ranger and the hunting portion like both of those things combined give you a plus three in trapping right up front um which that's fine you know if you're going to trap it as a player that's cool but it's not something that i need to do now if i was playing on a multiplayer server would i you know make traps for other people which i do play on a multiplayer server every now and so often Oh, um, yes, you know, but again, not a thing that I would do for my playthroughs. No. Okay, wait, question, do I work on the, I mean, it's not time for bed yet, so, but then again, we have been sleeping late, so maybe we should reset his sleep schedule. Huh. Yeah, how about we go to sleep in an hour? So 1030, we'll head to bed and let him get some actual rest. I mean, the man has done well to kill 380 oh, four zombies. We have a favorite weapon, which is our axe. Let's take a look at that real quick. The axe compare. That's why the axe just barely. No, that's not right. The way the game is coded might be strange. Because the shotgun has killed 189 zombies. My axe killed 163 zombies. 
technically my favorite weapon should be the, sh the shotgun, not the ax. So maybe your favorite weapon only accounts for melee weapons. I've never considered that. Granted, I've never killed this many, like had this close of a relationship to how many zombies I've killed. So little things, right? All right, anyway, let's uh, let them get our cooking experience. Yep. And I think we'll go ahead and put away the book, save some of that space. I'm gonna keep most of this other stuff, get rid of the revolver. Don't need to carry it with me, just to get me back some of that space too. And the two meat cleavers. Having a favorite weapon doesn't do anything? Nope. Nothing at all. Why I put the meat cleavers there? No idea. Oh, uh, <laughs> it felt right for now. So I'm gonna go outside real quick. Again, since we have our forging skill at level seven, which is amazing already. And again, I've barely forged. Uh, we are doing so many big things to save. It feels too good. Like, I feel like the game is going to do something real funky to me here in a moment, and I'm getting mad. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that's how concerned I am for how well this playthrough has been going tonight. Goodness gracious. I also have to recognize, yeah, no, I sh I'm not going to say that. I guess so. Let's not jinx it. No, that's fair. That is a fair statement. All right, what do we got? I got a snail. That's not food. I mean, well, it is for some people. You know, if you're an escargot type individual, you know, please enjoy your snail. Um, dandelions. Got some sticks. I got some sage. Not going to be taking the sticks, though. We're, we're, we're not living with axes crafted from sticks, rocks, and bandages. Not right now. No, we are not. We are using these bullets. If I see a zombie, the zombie going to be mad. Because it's going to catch a bullet. Park Ranger. Do we go for the hat? Ma'am. Ma'am. You have delivered me a hat. I am going to do it. Oh. <laughs> It feels like it's so right. <laughs> All right, wait, wait. Hey, I see some acorns. Perfect. Especially with the guns. Yes. Ton of experience. All right, so I'm going to eat some of this acorn because the man is hungry, so... Yes. Oh, you're fine, dude. Yes. Can you pick it up before they get you? All right. Let's deal with it. get the boot all right let's uh get some more acorn going there are a lot of zombies down here that's interesting can i uh get y'all to group up please Whose house are y'all like around? Can this? Why are y'all all here? Was there a buffet that I missed out on? Jeez.
All right. Did I run out of shells? I'm feeling weird about the shells. Let me open this other box real quick. I have time. this very open field you know I have a bunch of zombies who decided they're gonna come out and see what happened because there is this person who just lobbed off shells at dear Dorothy actually I, I shouldn't do that you know why why are we messing with Dorothy Dorothy didn't do anything she got zombified all now she cares about is brains instead of her dress let's be honest about it and it's not. Actually, there. Hmm. Why are y'all here? Like, I don't understand why there's so many zombies in this field. Let's just be honest about it, real quick. Why are there so many zombies in this field? Game coding, coding, coding. Oh. Where'd you come from? <laughs> it matters that Dorothy would put the rest of this for. Yeah, I'm still like getting a bunch over here. It's insane. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes. Please. Job done? Feeling job done. Yeah, all right. We'll switch back to the axe now and get on cleanup duty. Um, chopping, chopping, chopping away. Hello, how's your day going? Perfect, perfect. It's good. It's good. I see a straggler over here, but you know, nothing too bad. Oh, man. Dude, you gotta like stop with the stress. They're all dead. <laughs> like dead second time, not first time. But so perfect. So how many did we hit just now? Four hundred and fifty-three kills. Okay, so the shotgun can be number one. So I wonder if it's just a matter of like it checks it at certain time intervals to say how many kills are there per. Huh. We're good. I think we're good. Um, how close are we to leveling up again on aiming? Not, not close at all. <laughs> oh, so maybe those first five levels are the easy and then it's like, oh, nope, it's going to take a lot longer to get the rest of that. That's okay. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. We're good. We're good. Uh, I guess we check this house out because we came down here and whatnot. So I came through here because I wanted to forage for, um, you know, some fresh produce. Not seeing anything stand out. Maybe there's cereal here. <laughs> Bowl of rotten cereal. So somebody poured cereal, turned into a zombie, and then nobody's been down here since then. Oh, uh, cheers. Yeah, I'm good. Umbrella, garter, nothing that really stands out here. Somebody's small office space and the bathroom. Okay. Well, we're done. People that pour a bowl of cereal and then put it back in the fridge. What? Why would you pour a bowl of cereal and put it back in the fridge? If you know anything, any person like that, you tell them they're weird. All right, that's a soggy, like soaked up cereal for no reason. It turns to porridge. Like, why would you? No, no, 
I no. <laughs> I can't. If anybody, if we can't be friends. If you were that person, we can't be friends. I refuse to be friends with somebody who was like, "Yep, I poured a bowl of cereal and then put it back in the refrigerator." Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> now I'm assuming you be pouring the bowl of cereal with milk. Now, if you're just saying it's dry cereal, I still gonna say the words weird, but you know that's not. We're not friends no more. So I need clarity. I need clarity on this one. I'm just trying to understand, like, why would you put it, pour it, and then put it in the sit? Uh, I don't know. Do, mother has done it. All right. I mean, again, clarity. Are we talking about with milk or not? Like, I need, I need that level of clarity. If it's with milk and the cereal, then we done. Um, that that is a person who I can't trust with, with my meals at all. I'm like, nah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Poured the bowl of cereal, had everything good to go, and then put it back into the refrigerator. Like, I shouldn't even say put it back in the refrigerator. It wasn't in its original state. Like, the original state is the cereal is in the bag. And then from there, you put it in a bowl and then said, this should be in the, the refrigerator right now. No. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. Mom doesn't even cook. Heard. I got it. I got it. Well, um, you know, it is Wednesday night. <laughs> and I feel like we should close on a high note. That was a high note. We almost hit 500 kills. Uh, we legitimately almost hit 500 kills. So I think what we're doing is walking this up back over here and we'll start closing up the night. You know, and it's okay. Like I've been looking for the high note. This is the high note. Oh man, no helicopter event either. I guess the game is just like, I don't know how to give this dude a helicopter event. Like there's no reason to we kill a whole bunch of zombies. They're all gone. Oh, anyway, sorry. So yeah, let's, let's take stock. Let's take stock. We are on a new playthrough, uh, our new character name is Rick Martin. Not Ricky Martin, for those of you who decide to go down that road, but Rick Martin. And Rick Martin is a park ranger. <laughs> this park ranger has killed 455 zombies right out the gate in our first week. So it's been seven days, two hours, and a shotgun is our number one uh, weapon. Taking a look at that, we do still have water power enabled here at our base. Uh, we've hit carpentry level eight, and that was nothing but the TV and reading skill books, along with foraging level eight. Our cooking is level six, almost level seven, and then our aiming skill is level five. We have put ourselves to it. To get ourselves completely prepared to survive once again for moss on in because i'm so mad that we lost raymond so this isn't a carbon copy of raymond a major uh change to that is utilizing the hunter trait and we are going to be focusing on guns aside from that pretty much everything is the same for the build uh, but we are going to approach it a little differently our intention is to clear out all the zombies roughly inside of rosewood Riverside, Moldra, then West Point before making it to Louisville once again. So that's the journey. And I'm going to put some bullet points on the video or something like that just so you can see it. Regardless, it's been fun. <laughs> Absolutely fun. As usual, I say that I am a standing adult and I have adult responsibilities, meaning I have a job to go to tomorrow. But <laughs> um, I did have a lot of fun and I'm kind of back into the space of playing Project Zombo again. And I'm loving it. I really am. So I hope you are too. I am going to post this almost immediately on YouTube. So I'll get back on to posting our adventures rather than just waiting until because what we've had three, four different playthroughs at this point on Twitch other than No Man's Sky. And we've just died so many times that it's just felt like it made no sense to put it online. But I'm not doing that this time. This character would go up because we are going to say we're not dying and we're going to live, thrive and kick some butt. That's what we did. First time go Rick Martin. Anyway, this is BB. I'm going to sign off and say I love you. Uh, enjoyed having you here. If you're watching on YouTube, I appreciate it. Again, like, subscribe, comment, share it with your friends, all the YouTube things. I, I know I put it out there. Plugging. It's not the wrong plugging. But 
we're not gonna die we are having fun and i'm back bv's feeling good <laughs> and i hope you are too quick shout out to novellum sweet pepper kobe and all the other individuals have a tendency to pop in prmr who is always here i love you guys and i will see you in the next one cheers <laughs>